So, I'm 30 years old right now, and if I could pick up the phone and call myself when I was 20, these are the three things I would say to myself. Number one, comparison. I think this is a skill a lot of people actually possess, and I know a lot of people in Norway does it, and always when we do stuff, we always look to the better man or another girl to see what are they doing, what are they doing better than us, why am I doing so bad, Throughout my life, I've always had a knack to actually look at other people and see what are they doing and oh shit, they are doing better than me. This is a terrible approach to have because it doesn't give you anything. The one thing that you should do is always compare yourself to your previous self. So for me, for instance, am I a better marketer than I was last year? Also in the personal sphere, am I a better boyfriend am I a better son the thing also with comparison is when you compare yourself to others you will always compare your worst uh, version of yourself towards the best or the brightest version of other people number two you got time so when I was 20 years old I was just about to finish college I had my marketing degree I was ready to go out into the world and conquer everything and the first thing that happened to me was I moved to another city in Norway and I worked two years in healthcare or marketing of the healthcare industry and it just totally blew. So basically I rammed my face into a concrete wall and didn't get to manage anything that I wanted to do in the first job and I actually felt quite like this is not going as planned at all. I am failing in this. It's It was just a terrible feeling at the time and I also felt like I was running out of time because I need to get a move on. We have so much time and when you're in your 20s and you probably heard a lot of other people say this as well but you got so much time you can do whatever you want and, and to go out and fail it's actually positive and now that I look back when I started this company and doing what, what I'm doing right now it's so valuable to have one of these things that actually didn't work out because it taught me a lot about stuff we shouldn't do and how I shouldn't do things and it's just all a learning curve and you never stop learning and when you're 20 and 22 and 24 you get you got all the time in the world and also things change so quickly so don't stress about time you got plenty of time enjoy yourself go out work hard if thing doesn't work out as planned no worries you'll try again and you'll succeed all right, number three. So the third thing I would say to myself as a 20 year old is take more risks. So when I was 20, I was living at home and I was studying and um, basically you have very low uh, economic downside. Your your costs are super low. You, you just have You just have a huge potential to go out and gamble. Not casino gamble, but gamble with people, gamble with opportunities gamble with whatever you want to do so there are multiple ways of taking risks but getting to know new people taking that opportunity that comes along your way checking it out just go for it because the thing is that if things doesn't work out you can always try again you don't have to be afraid of taking risks if things don't work out you just try something new and in your 20s that's the best time to take risks so I would just go for it follow your dreams and don't don't actually don't actually think too much about it I would not recommend stacking up too much debt but you gotta risk it to get the biscuit and sometimes you just gotta go toss yourself into it take that job do that commercial do that photo shoot that you want to do and just try new things if you don't risk it there is no reward so these are the three things don't compare yourself to others you got plenty of time. And number three, you gotta risk it. Thanks for checking it out. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, it's all good. Peace and love, take care.